What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Today, it's my fucking day. Straight hood outside, big crib type shit, man. Hey, man, say man, hope y'all turn, 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 and turn. You did. Now this is crazy, man. Ah, I'm about to put the fucking ah. Okay, in this video, okay, okay, we're gonna get it all together, man. So, um, we've been talking about how, um, Gunner, man, got exposed, got exposed again, man. But I hope y'all having a good night, man. Uh, come to the Black Keeper is like, man. Hey, we trying to get these videos out, man. My video, my phone messing up. I can barely see the time on this bit no more. Man, it's getting, it's getting wild out here, man. But let's go get into this video, man. I hope I get this time right, man. All right. <clears throat> come on, man. So, damn, man. Right in the motherfucking thing, man. So, we've been talking about, um, we've been talking about, we've been talking about, um, how, um, Gunna got exposed again, man. The last time we seen Gunna get exposed was at, um, he was walking out the street and some nigga pressed him, called him a rat. You know what I'm saying? He got called a rat. You know what I'm saying? And and he got exposed because the, the, the security didn't do nothing. They tried to check the dude, but you know what I'm saying? Gunner, he's a rat. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't fucking with Gunner. Do we listen to the music? Hell the fuck no. You know what I'm saying? Or we're gonna talk shit about the nigga? Hell the fuck yes. You know what I'm saying? So, um, this time he got exposed again in LA. So, he got, there was this rapper named Big U. Who was supposed to protect Gunner? You did like crook. And the nigga named Six Hundred, I guess he from LA too, had called him out because because nobody was talking about it about how Gunner went to LA and some goons ran up on him. You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody trying to like you did like everybody trying to um trying to um protect Gunner, bro. Like, bruh, he's a rap, bruh. We can't even fucking trust that nigga. That nigga's an informant. He, we know that nigga got camera in his shade, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And his chain and shit, nigga. We can't even, like, the fuck, nigga? You feel me? So it's like, motherfucking goons ran up on that nigga, man. Like, no, he making all these millions, these M&Ms, and I'm not to get good protection, bruh. That means you're not making your money, you're not making good man money management moves, man. Either you spent all that goddamn money on fucking bullshit that you ain't gonna need after you die, and people just gonna sell when you when you um when you dead or keep and just fuck it over. You know what I'm saying? And you not focus on priorities, man. Like protection, bro. Now they said that the the, the goons ran up on him, and they called the popo. Bro, come on, man. We can't be doing that shit. Nigga, nigga, I ain't never called popos on a nigga ever in my life. And I like this or the tool, nigga, I ain't, we ain't calling popos. You know what I'm saying? We don't call the popos. We don't call the feds. But that's what they did, man. Um, but he, he should have known that you can't be going to no fucking LA. In the most where mo most people know where the fuck you is and stuff like you, everybody know what be, what's going on in LA. Niggas getting brammed out here, you know what I'm saying? And so, Rock 100 speaks on it. 600 speaks on it about Big U and all the situation that's been happening. I don't think these niggas just be trying to get the bad. That's why they be bringing these niggas into the spot. They don't give. They, they they probably give a fuck about them goddamn um the ratting, but they they be trying to get the bag. You know what I'm saying? So we got the video of the situation that came out 
Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this goddamn video, man. Keep on uh, liking, subscribing, man. Uh, my phone is kind of fucked up, so it's gonna, hey, it, it's gonna be kind of choppy from from cheering that on now, man. Cause my shit is fucked right now. You know what I'm saying? So, hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Man, stay tuned to hear what 600 had to say. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to whenever I post. But all right, y'all, let's get into it. So word is Gunner went to LA and tapped in with Big U for protection. And 600 claimed that Big U took Gunner to Crenshaw High for what was supposed to be an event for the kids. And some goons got the word that Gunner was up there and tried to step. And according to 600, Big U told people to call the police. And as y'all know, 600 and Big U is from the same side of the rolling 60s, but lately it's been a whole lot of division within the same cliques. So man, I'ma roll the clip and I'm gonna let y'all hear what 600 had to say. Hold on, hold on. All right, y'all. If y'all follow my social media and all that, y'all probably would have seen I was out of town. You know, I was in the South. You know, for maybe like 36 hours. I wasn't even there that long. But I got a lot of texts, a few phone calls, a few FaceTimes, a few DMs about shit going on in the city. Who, what, where, whatever, right? I'm like, damn. So this is probably why I'm late. <laughs> or y'all probably think I'm late on my last video about niggas select the politic and the other shit, right? So they like, yeah. That nigga Gunner was up at Crenshaw. Like what? That nigga brought, yes ma'am, to my high school, right? <laughs> they like, yeah. He was up there with Big U. Yeah. They say, but guess what though? Nigga slid up there. Trying to get at him. They said Big U was harboring a nigga. Then, mind you, these niggas like, nigga, all them six old niggas are police, cuz. Them niggas harboring cuz, bro. They said Big U told his people to call the police and told niggas, nah, man, this up here for the kids. <laughs> you know, and told niggas to call the police. And niggas start taking pictures of niggas and pictures of niggas, license plates and cars and shit. I'm just confused. Like, the word was that. He was using Big U as his security. Who, who was he going to secure? I mean, like, do he got a gun license or something? Like, like, I'm just confused. Like, why wouldn't you hire people who can actually protect you? You know, they said a nigga slid up there, was trying to get at him, and nigga wanted to call the police. So you might as well just call the police with you. <laughs> if, if, if your so-called bodyguards got to call the police, like you ain't hired niggas who got armed guards? Like, I, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but everybody do that, man. I really don't know what niggas got going on. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, relating y'all, the 100 DMs and messages I got, they say Gunner was at Crenshaw High School with Big U. Niggas ran up on them niggas. And niggas got to yelling out, this is for the kids. Call the police. And niggas got to call the police and start taking pictures of niggas' cars and, and all that shit, bro. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what these dudes got going on. I mean, I'm gonna see y'all soon. Like I said, I'm late. I was in Memphis, you know what I'm saying? I got some potential art artists out there. Y'all know I'm working, you know what I'm saying? But see y'all soon. Like I say, like, I ain't been seeing none of this shit. Like, you know, Big, you block me. Like, <laughs> y'all can <laughs> address that and call that what you want. Dude blocked me probably like six months ago on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? So, but they say he been running around and taking pictures and hanging out with yes ma'am you know what i'm saying i ain't been seeing it because dude got me blocked so i don't know what that nigga been doing but you know what i'm saying like it's all coming out boy 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 <laughs> your boy really uh showing y'all who he is huh um let's not paint a fake narrative or you know misdirection we're talking about Big U, okay? He's hanging out with Gunna, <laughs> AKA, <laughs> yes ma'am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He hanging out with dude, right? So this is the type of example that he's setting. You know what I'm saying? So he got, you know, people fooled. You know what I'm saying? He got people fooled thinking that's okay. And this is what causes division. Because you got people like me who stand on what they stand on. And you got followers who follow him and he's letting people think that that type of shit is okay so this ain't to the people who do people who do they ain't got no morals ain't got nothing going on it's obviously they don't really stand on nothing because cut don't stand on that so we're not even talking to y'all we're talking to people who ain't who's outside that and i'm here to let you 
No, that the real homies ain't feeling cuz. The real homies, the niggas who stand on business ain't with cuz. They been ain't cuz. Now, it's a whole bunch of niggas who niggas ain't with like that, right? But for some reason, bro, niggas don't vote niggas off the island no more. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just don't do it. So, I find myself, do I stay on this business, on this island by myself, stand on business, or I just leave niggas alone? I chose to leave niggas alone, bro. No hood. Because niggas ain't what I own, what I'm on, bro. I'm not about to be a one man battle. I'm not about to do that. You know what I'm saying? These niggas were rats. Cub was at, yes, ma'am, out in the open. Like, nigga, it's cool. And nobody's saying nothing to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's saying nothing to a lot of these dudes. So when people go in there and say, certain people make the hood look bad, like I told y'all before, the people who make the hood look bad is people who break the rules and do stuff out in the open so the world can see. And all this selective politics niggas is doing, that causes division. Division causes weaknesses. <laughs> That's why the hood weak right now. Everybody is doing their own thing because niggas select the politics, bro. Niggas are saying this is cool, saying this ain't cool. That causes division because you got niggas who are going to say, well, shit, I'm a cuz, man, I'm a cuz. All this old goofy shit, bro. When the niggas are supposed to all be standing on business, nigga, ain't nobody bigger than the program, nigga. Nigga, you out. Niggas ain't like that. Niggas ain't like that, bro. I don't know what it's from. I don't know if niggas is on drugs. I don't know if niggas is just busters. Niggas ain't got no money. I don't know what it is, cuz. I'm not no buster. I don't do drugs and I got money. So I don't know what niggas is thinking. <laughs> I stand on what I stand on. And I don't need no nigga. I'm nigga hide behind no nigga. None of that shit, bro. So, yeah, man. He letting y'all know, you know, what he really stand on. <laughs> Nothing on this street shit. So, I want to know who's really cuz. You feel me? Since nigga wanna call around and send my video as a skit around and ask different gangs, <laughs> are y'all 600? <laughs> Did y'all see his video? It's a skit. Well, you really doing foul shit. So who's really you? So let's let that, let's let's get all this shit out and see who really who, bro. On hood. Cause there's too much misunderstanding and niggas not knowing over here who no 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 no. Who with the rats? Who's fucking with the rat lovers? Y'all let that shit be known, I mean, I'll be with my self, nigga. I got niggas who ain't never coming home, nigga. Niggas who ain't never gonna breathe again for this shit, bro. I'm not bending my rules, nigga. I'm gonna stand on my bending. All right, man. So that's what six. So, man, stay tuned to hear what they had to say. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to whenever I post. But all right, y'all, let's get into it. So in my last video, y'all heard 600 speak about Big U being protection for Gunna and taking them around the hood. But some of the homies wasn't feeling that and tried to run up on Gunna when they was at Crenshaw High. And according to 600, Big U told people to call the police when they tried to run up. So Wack 100 and 600, who has gotten cool and both no longer rock with Big U, decided to speak on this situation and say how they feel about Big U being around Gunna and how he handled that situation. So man, I'ma roll the audio and I'ma let y'all hear it. And, and took a known rat to the hood high school. Well, yeah, I guess niggas niggas got wins. Um, a couple niggas slid up there. Uh, but like I say, man, uh, uh, you know, I don't know Gunner, you know, but you know, he, he need to move smarter, man. You know, niggas ain't really fighting out here, bro. You need to hire some some armed guards. You know, you, you get run ins like that. This shit, niggas, niggas playing for keeps, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't, I don't know, dude. You know what I'm saying? But you know. You know, it, it's, it's been too many, you know, things happening to people, celebrities out here in L.A. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got to, you know, move smarter and move with the right people. Whatever you got going on. So, yeah, that shit was crazy, man. If Thug ain't calling that nigga a rat, bro, nobody should be going around calling call that nigga a rat, rat bro. Thug called him a rat. I'm going to just give it to you right now. Thug so called him a rat. Call him a rat. He called him a rat, nigga. All you gotta do, niggas, you can go on the internet right before he dropped his album. He because on the phone. Look, nigga, what, first of all, let's be real, right? Fuck Doug. We he did call him a rat, <laughs> but we watched this nigga. Somebody snuck that phone in court. If that nigga without that without that phone shit, we wouldn't have a leg to stand on. The nigga sat there, bro, cooperated with the mother district attorney. 
on the Rico. And right now, let me make sure y'all understand this. All these niggas they let out with these 15-year probations that gave the statements on Thug, all of them right now got one of their charges that's not included. I'm going to tell you why they did it. If you don't hit that stand, they booking them. Now, they already know they read it, so they know if they go behind their walls what it is. Even Gunner has one charge that has not been included in that 15-year probational shit. Right? Now, this is what I all deal with it. Right? Show business. I told you niggas months ago, this nigga Big U is running security up on the nigga. Everybody told me I was capping. I said, all right. <laughs> right? I said, okay, y'all going to see. He going to have to come to L.A. And Gunner's going to make sure you show what it is. They went up. Actually, you know what, Stack? I'm going to send you some crazy shit I shouldn't send you. I just got this yesterday. Right? See, this is what I tell y'all. Nigga, I don't. I don't. Nigga, once you go weird, you weird. Stack. Now, this shit going to head up right here, bro. This come from the Crips yesterday. Yesterday. You looking at it, time and dated. They went up there on the gunner, nigga, the guinea. Stack, you get it? This the type of weird. This is why I don't give a f about no nigga talking to me about no. I want to know what's the picture you sent. <laughs> Who, me? That's that when you sent me, how whack. I sent it to you, Rose. If you, yeah, yeah. If you want to read it, Rose, I sent it to Rosetta, so. Okay. Um, it says, Why Big You, Candy Rat Ass, Harboring Gunner. The homies went up to Crenshaw High and was trying to confiscate something. The nigga and them other niggas started talking about it's for the kids, and then the police get on the homies. The police was talking to them niggas, asking who was the disturbance. Then told the homies to leave or get arrested for trespassing. Taking pictures of niggas and niggas' cars, them 60 niggas police, and he the general. At Pacific Food. That's crazy. I got them same message. I'm knocked out sleep, though. I had a layover. I'm like, ready to sound up. I was dreaming and I was sleeping tomorrow. That's why I'm so late. I would have I would have got this month last night. I got the same type of message. I said, what? I'm like, damn. That's why I said the video. You didn't play the audio from the second video? What second video? When I yeah, said that two, uh, um it was two videos I did. All right, I got you. It was two. You played the audio. Wow. Damn, so about shit going on in the city, who, what, where, whatever, right? I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? This is probably why I'm late. <laughs> or y'all probably think I'm late on my last video about niggas select the politicking and the other shit, right? So they're like, yeah. That nigga Gunner was up at Crenshaw. Like, what? Nigga brought, yes, ma'am, to my high school, right? <laughs> they like, yeah. He was up there with Big U. Yeah. They say, but guess what, though? Nigga slid up there trying to get at him. They said, Big, you was harboring a nigga. Then, mind you, these niggas like, nigga, all them six old niggas the police, cuz. Them niggas harboring cuz, bro. They said, Big, you told his people to call the police. And told niggas, no, nah, man, this up here for the kids. <laughs> you know, and told niggas to call the police. And niggas start taking pictures of niggas and pictures of niggas license plates and cars and shit. I'm just confused. Like, the word was that he was using Big U as his security. Who is he going to secure? I mean, like, do he got a gun license or something? Like, like, I'm just confused. Like, why wouldn't you hire people who can actually protect you? You know, they said a nigga slid up there was trying to get at him, and a nigga wanted to call the police. So you might as well just call the police with you. <laughs> if, if, if your so-called bodyguards got to call the police, like, you ain't hire niggas who got armed guards? Like, I, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but everybody do that, man. I really don't know what niggas got going on. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, well, letting y'all, the 100 DMs and messages I got, they say Gunner was at Crenshaw High School with Big U. Niggas ran up on them niggas. 
and niggas got to yelling out, this is for the kids, call the police. And niggas got to call the police and start taking pictures of niggas' cars and, and all that shit, bro. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what these dudes got going on. <laughs> man, I'm going to see y'all soon. Like I said, I'm late. I was in Memphis, you know what I'm saying? I got some potential art- artists out there. Y'all know I'm working, you know what I'm saying? But see y'all soon. I say, like, I ain't been seeing none of this shit. Like, you know, Big, you blocked me. Like, <laughs> y'all can <laughs> address that and call that what you want. Dude blocked me probably like six months ago on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? So the message, I'm like, what the going on? Tricky. God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude so, got to move smarter, man. You know what I'm saying? For, I got a question, right? Yeah. So because, so you remember you said the streets is dead, right? So do you think that Big U should be like, still held up to the street like politic rules even though you're saying that the streets are dead well he put himself dead ain't got nothing to do with him as an individual yeah. he putting well, himself the, out there that for that shit. type of energy and them type of responses he putting himself out there for that if he just say listen man I don't care about no street shit I'm gonna go work and be a security guard and do what I do with my family you know street niggas will respect that cause at the end of the day nigga don't wanna die you know being a 6 or 7 year old game member you know what I'm saying? So niggas really want to be mad at it. But when you try to step back in and act like you this and that and calling around and doing this, that, that's what puts you on the, on, on, on the top of the block. How to be your own chef? If you just step off and say, man, I ain't going to do with that, you know, niggas will leave me alone. But he want to keep putting his nose in people's business like he's that type of street nigga. You get what I'm saying? So he's asking for all this attention. He's doing what it. What I told you niggas earlier. What huh? you say, Ty? Go ahead and repeat that shit. You know I was saying, you trying to have one foot in, one foot out. You feel me? You can't play it like that. You need to go ahead on and just step down and say, look, I ain't for nothing. I'm denouncing. I'll keep on planning. The consequences gonna come. That nigga know what he up against. And whatever happened, we ain't gonna know, but... <laughs> No, nah, we, ain't, we ain't never gonna know because nobody ever presses that line on it. Nobody ever brings it away. Whatever whack does, it comes just full. Oh, everybody wants to speak on it. But when this guy does a little something, take him up for football games, take him to the hood, ain't nobody saying shit about it. 600 is the only person that says something about it. Whack to say for a whole year that that nigga with them people with that shit. That nigga ain't not one time ever said he ain't never denied it. He ain't never yeah. addressed it. So that right there, you know. He been known he was Wack it's called that shit a long ass time ago Ain't nobody believed him Everybody it's just thought he was bullshit That shit on black and white um, And that's what I was saying to yeah. 600 Like he's saying people are hitting him up You know reputables and all of this shit You know what I mean hitting him up and shit But he's the only one really pushing that line You know what I mean Like the voice of the shit So I mean like B said Ain't nobody pushing that shit It's gonna take more to push that shit Cause that nigga can't be one foot in one foot out but ain't nobody, ain't, make a look. ain't nobody really pushing that because the streets are dead. If it was, if it was back in the yeah, day, somebody would have pushed that line. Niggas that ain't really over them. Like Yo, six hundred. They're not pushing it in that way, but at the same time, nobody's even noting. Not even the bloggers are talking about it. They like, okay, let's leave that shit alone. We know it's not really that big, but if it, like we said, if it was whack, when whack did an interview with six nine, the picked that shit up and went crazy. Even this man did. Yeah, selective politics at its finest. Now you see this individual at sports games, Chargers games, at the hood high school, doing all this shit, and ain't nobody saying nothing. I heard something earlier today where I tried to, like, laugh it off. And And what it is is this. What it is is this. This is really what it is, though. When your own people don't say nothing to it, it's usually say, man, that's their business. Because my really scared of, as a whole, the name, the brand, and all that. So if some if I outsider do it, you'll be really spooked of you know shit that used to happen 20, 30 years ago. So that's just why the outsiders ain't really saying nothing. If them niggas ain't they like if them niggas ain't saying nothing about it, we can't say nothing about it. You get what I'm saying? Hell so that's, yeah, that, that makes that, sense. That's half of it. That's like 75% of it right there. But now niggas are starting to see, oh shit, this is what's going on. So now you about to see different shit. Then you got a whole bunch of generations and the whole bunch of niggas coming home. Now you about to see different shit. Then you got a whole bunch of generations and the whole bunch of niggas coming home who've been seeing all this shit. So it's a lot of shit that's about to happen. A lot of shit been going on. But like I say, I don't really know what the niggas got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is all a defense mechanism for me. I'm bothering me. 
And I'm really just trying to mind my business. I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude wouldn't even really been on the chopping block like that if he's left me alone. So. Okay. So you saying that, you know, he started talking shit about you, woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. Okay, so I'm in the comments, right? I'm a, I'm a very avid comment reader. So the people are like, actually a little confused as to like how is this even coming up because I believe they said like you was just it was everything was just cool like six <laughs> months ago so the people want to know like yeah, where did the you know, relationship this just happened last week this just happened over the weekend so the people must be idiots this just was at this just happened three four days ago and so then let's people people know about the comments them comments is people who yeah. yeah. on it Tell the people, get their head out their ass. What's being spoke on right now was four days ago. Six months ago, Gunner was still in jail. Right. So, tell the people. Right, I'm going to tell, tell you the real side what it is. Because you said it, niggas going to make it out to be something. One thing I'm going to say about this nigga right here, bro. This nigga don't be lying. Niggas just don't, like a lot of niggas just don't like the way he do shit, being chaotic about it, but the truth's the truth, my nigga. It is what it is. If a nigga ain't lying to you yet, I mean, you can't knock it. But because you said it, niggas gonna try to, well, that nigga just trolling, or oh, they making that shit up, that's a play. No, this real life. He said it when it's secure. They said it's security over there at the Barclays in New York. He had them boys around them 60, and Wack called it right then and there. He said, you know who's with them. <laughs> This is who's with him. Boom, nobody believed him. Nobody believed him. And then, lo and behold, we all find out, look who's yeah, hanging out with Gunner this weekend. Two yeah, we've been on this when shit. Friend, when friend started that shit, he said, all right, nigga, why you dick on me right here running security for a rat? Remember? Go, go find that yeah, guy. We got, that's that's, that's a fact, Todd. That's a fact you're saying. Okay, so you know what you said? Well, that nigga capping. <laughs> Uh, I want to know where the people at. But six months ago, Gunner was in jail. Where that bitch brick at? No, he ain't gonna Stay in the comments. <laughs> Great baby ain't gonna speak I'm on this. Well, I don't want to talk to you. I was like, to come up here and say nothing about that, bro, because he know that ain't how that's supposed to go. No, wait. I'm gonna tell you why, because that Sunday morning he was on the phone. Talking about dumbass shit, uh, motors for your cars and superchargers, and you got that fucking phone call saying, "Woo, woo, woo, woo." He got up there and swear to God that didn't happen. That wasn't real. And, like I said, you know, might think you be lying about shit, but uh, I know that really happened. And sure enough, he tried to act like you know the people ain't get at him not too long ago, and just like he tried to swoop, like he wasn't oh, fucking secure with that shit. They pick him up for sure. Well, he might work with it on step down and say, you know, you the retired clip. Let it go. Fuck. Be what you gonna be. Well, you know, I wanna know where the people at. <laughs> All right, man. See, y'all heard with both whack one and six hundred. Gunner's former assistant, Brittany Rashawn, is fed up with questions about his whereabouts. Asking me about Gunner, please. I don't work. I'm not over there no more. Don't ask me about nobody you don't see me with, okay? Anybody that get on here and ask me about that man and say anything about that man gonna get blocked. I'm not on that no more. New chapter. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. New chapter. Stop doing that. Every time I get on here, y'all got them blowing my shit down about him. Do that with your manager them. Don't do that with me. He said, how can it be to lose him to fumble? Right. They be fumbling. Fumble friendships, fumble their bags. I don't know, but stop asking me about people. We don't need no other body. Stop asking me about people that you no longer see me with. I would appreciate that. Y'all be making, like, stop it.
with. Yeah, so all the fans and shit, y'all can go, go to Paula P. Liddy. Go on her page. Get the, go on, get off my shit with that shit, man. Please. Get off my shit with that shit. I'm on a new, I'm on a new wave, man. Well, I'm gonna get off here because I'm just about to pull up. And I'm running so late. I was supposed to be here like 30 minutes ago. So I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna get back on once I get through the security line. I'll be back. So, if you've seen from that video, okay, I gotta make sure I get another time, cause fuck, man. So, yeah, so, if you see from the video, man, Gunner, man, he, he going out to LA, you dig? And the people that was supposed to be protecting that nigga, he have no fucking weight in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the nigga was basically saying, "Hey, Gunner, whoop the whoop, and we, hey, you do that, and we'll protect you out here." You know what I'm saying? And Gunner went to go do it and try to, and try, I guess it was like a school giveaway. And some dudes ran down on him. Now, I don't know if he just thought it was sweet because he left ATL and niggas in ATL was him. Nigga, nobody fuck with you, nigga. Free thugger to his backwards, nigga. Like, nigga, we ain't, we not fucking with you, you gonna. You the rat boy. You the raddest. Like, we, and we know, we got, we, we, I think we got a lot of people on this bitch who be like me memes, who be talking shit. About 12, like not talking about it, but like using the motherfuckers. Gunner is a real life, like, like he went on stage and saying, yes, ma'am. And fucking 4K, nigga. Ain't no damn way. You know what I'm saying? Thugger already say don't fuck with the nigga. Kind of nigga, bitch ass nigga. Like, come on, bro. They were trying to say, oh, yeah, you did it. But Thugger already said, call him a rat. He was on phone. How many times we had to play the video where Thug was saying he don't fuck with Gunna, you bozos? Y'all know y'all heard that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Gunna, man, he trying to, I think he just trying to get his name out. You know what I'm saying? He trying to get his name out. And after all that snitch allegations and shit, man, niggas not playing with no snitches like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Thug is gonna be gonna have to be in that bitch at least about some cold hard time if they if they could if they convict the nigga. Then they talking about rich on me crime snitches. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck. You know what I'm saying? So so we so Gunner man, I feel like Gunner thing like oh they, 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 they just talking on the internet. They ain't finna, nigga they done ran up on you like three four times. Nigga, we didn't get we didn't even get the sign. These niggas not fuck with you. Like that song, fuck you mean and all that other shit, nigga. All right, you made a banger, but nigga don't mean like, like you gotta understand, bro. A lot of a lot of people who watching, listen to gun of music is white boys, and I don't think gonna be understanding that. That a lot of white boys are watching his music, and so you know what I'm saying. He a lot of white boys watching his music, nigga. The, Black men not fuck with this shit. You know, you got the little, the, the little fuckers who be trying to make memes out of anything. They just, a lot of niggas are trying to make money off of anything. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to be different. I'm going to be different. So they they not fuck with Gunna. I'm going to fuck with Gunna. I'm going to be different. Man, if you don't get your weak ass, I, I, I can't stand niggas like that, bro. Like, they be like, oh, I'm, I'm just being different because everybody's in there and fuck with it. So I'm going to fuck with them. Bro, you goofy. Goofy as hell. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I be, man. You know, a lot of people just be looking at this just shit like clout and money and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? And oh yeah, in the, in the video, man, got the, I got the this one where his assistant said he not fucking with Gunner no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, at this point, man, and I might got I might got um a video on that bitch of uh, uh, Gunner Baby Mama talking, but I gotta find it. You know what I'm saying? I I I, I didn't I already screen record the bitch. You know I, I was I forgot. Fuck. But, you know what I'm saying, we gonna get all that shit in this bitch, man. You know what I'm saying, just get the, y'all get the whole point of what's going on in this situation, man. Like, you gotta understand, like, 
A lot of niggas who was on that nigga band, bandwagon in the beginning, they done left. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not like they just like up and left because it was a so, because whoop whoop. It's like he, oh, he went to jail for thramming a nigga. Nah, he went to jail for snitching. And I mean, he, he went to jail for some dumb shit, but he came out for snitching. It ain't like he went to jail because he thramming a nigga and got out because he beat the case. He didn't beat the case, nigga, just snitched and got out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand how niggas don't understand he's only gonna be in that bitch for five years, man. Two years probably with good behavior. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, he already made the success. You know what I'm saying? He already made the money on, the M&Ms. This nigga, you know what I'm saying? At that point, now, I seen this video where the comment where they was trying to say Rick Ross was um, poisoning the community. I'm like, bro, if anybody is poisoning the community, it's motherfucking gunner. And I feel like all the bozos who don't understand that shit, man, it's, it's crazy, man. Like, that nigga gunner, man, you did, he's out here, like, like, really trying to take free thugger. And thugger not even fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Just to get the clout. Like, we all understand some money grab at this point, and probably gonna keep on making new music, you know what I'm saying? Until that nigga get touched, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't know if he getting forced to do this shit. Like, I don't know why he just consistently trying to, like, prove to the world that he's not a snitch. Bruh, I don't know why he's trying to prove to the world that he's not a snitch, bruh. It's too damn late. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you gonna get the, when you get the point? You know, like, bruh. It's too damn late at this point, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas not not falling for that shit no more, man. And you know, niggas, niggas, but he, but the in the in the thing I was saying, like, a lot of niggas not like really applying pressure, man. But hey, you see niggas apply pressure. But I think he's talking about the social media on the streets. It's very much live. You getting pressed? Like, I I can't stand that term either. Talking about the streets are dead. How the streets are dead when he get, when he getting pressed? No, the streets not dead. The fucking the media is getting controlled by the money on. Let's get let's get, let's get that straight the fuck out real quick. You know what I'm saying? The, the streets are very much alive. Gun again is pressed like three four times out of a month to two months. Yes, the streets are very much alive, but the the media is probably getting paid. Like niggas not finna talk about that shit, and if they is. A lot of niggas never, never really been in no situation where they, you know what I'm saying, where they where, where I'm gonna down to some shit like that. So these niggas not finna stand on some shit they don't give a fuck about. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas be like, let's be honest, man. A lot of these niggas who um who be um who like, you know what I'm saying, doing this shit like like I'm just saying like regular motherfuckers like preppy man. You know what I'm saying? These niggas don't give a fuck. They just a lot of them get what's out and shit, man. But that's what I'm saying, man. Gonna he he he's running around. The streets right now, and like he got a whole rat snap, rat a rat trap on his tail, man. It's like, bro, we, it's like, it's funny, bro. You know, everybody know you for ratting now. It's like, I mean, I don't know how motherfuckers will like, like all your music, you just known for ratting. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas gonna fuck with it. some niggas anyway. Mostly white people. Let's be honest, white people like white people. White people love the destruction of um. Of um, black people, so they don't, they don't watch, they don't watch some dumb ass shit like that. They, they, they're like, oh, the white people, man, they love that shit. The white people gonna be like, oh, oh, the black people gonna like him because he ratted, he, he got another black man in jail. Oh, let's support him. You know what I'm saying? White people weird, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like they love the destruction of the, of the black community in the, in the hood. And I'm gonna just try to uh, play, play like any mind to the motherfuckers, like, like yeah, look at that little dirt situation, nigga. If you had, if you got six little white boys. Talking about who gonna slide for King Von? Bitch, never. These bitches ain't never slid a day in their life, nigga. The only thing they slid down is probably down a slide, and probably got a um a, a belly rub, a, 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 a back, a back like a back burn, a, a belly burn. Like these niggas, these niggas not these, these little niggas, these little kids don't know what the fuck they talking about. They just talking just to talk because they hear everybody else saying who gonna slide. You know what I'm saying? So these motherfuckers like. They want fucking white people who, who watching like gun and shit. They don't give a fuck. They, they just trying to see what's gonna happen and, and continue the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like they ain't really trying to stand on no business out there. You know what I'm saying? Let's be honest, bro. And so I feel like man, gunner man, he don't have his 
he don't have his moment because you know what I'm saying. Like I said, you feel me? He 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 already got the, the the big hits. He already got the other sign behind him. Like niggas who don't like niggas who don't know what's going on. They don't listen to the music because they like. Niggas like, a lot of niggas not looking deep into, yeah, y'all gotta understand, a lot of these motherfuckers not looking deep into what's going on, they just see off the, off the page, oh, Gunna? I, in music? Press it, cause you know they listen to like, autoplay, and like, they probably got this shit like, you know, they make, you know how they making up music, and the music already pre-selected for you, and you motherfucker like, oh, it's Gunna? I like that. So they, they go, they probably just look up his name. And look up Gunner music and boom, that's it. They don't even know what's going on. They just probably just look at listen to the music and shit, man. And, and say it and sound fire. You motherfuckers don't know what the fuck going on, type shit, man. That these niggas really be having FBI agents, FBI agents in these motherfucking communities, man. You know what I'm saying? These niggas watching every, every every move plot niggas be making. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be FBI agents, you know what I'm saying? And and you know, Nigga be thinking like the shit be sweet. Like, oh, ha ha ha, he just said that nigga FBI agent. <laughs> nigga, for real. Nigga, like, re real talk. <laughs> Dead ass. Nigga was turning a, nigga was turning a whole, to a whole FBI cop and they can get out, get out, of, out of jail and keep their money on. You know what I'm saying? You, gotta, you just gotta watch out for shit like that, man. That's why niggas gotta be on these niggas' head. You, man, you be like, and y'all, 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 y'all heard that term, um, Keep your friend closer and you keep your end closer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, like whoop whoop, you know what I'm saying? So you be a motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why y'all y'all watch, you know what I'm saying? See what's going on with, with the, the people who ratting because it's like they could be on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? That's why, like, hey. Like, you gotta see sometimes, man, motherfuckers be like, well, damn, why are they watching watching it that they, they don't like them? Because nigga, we trying to see what the fuck is they trying to like set other niggas up for. You know what I mean? Get the, get the, get the, see what's going on before, you know what I mean? See what, before some bullshit happens, you did. So, I feel like, man, Gunner, man, he's in a situation, you did, like, crib, like, north side type shit. Like, he's like, he's fucked. Like, like, if that nigga take the stand again, nigga, I feel like, this is, he might, they might blame him. Like, on some real shit. Like, I really, I, I honestly feel like if they, if he takes the stand against Thugger, he gets blamed. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to no blaming on him, but hey, that's a house. Hey, it's all if this, if this off the first one. He and he, this, they said it's an alpha plea, and this didn't even matter. Nigga, imagine, imagine when that shit actually matter. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, got me in a situation, man, where if he, don't, if he, don't, if he don't, um, if he do what he does and finish what he, what, what he trying to do. That nigga's fucked. You know what I'm saying? And then that motherfucker's like, oh yeah. But motherfuckers gonna be understanding. Sometimes, man, the streets can be just like jail, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna know be understanding that shit, man. The streets can be just like jail, man. And you thinking like, oh, I, I'm glad to go to prison. But nigga, on the street, it could be almost just like prison. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But worse because, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't know. When you in, when you in prison, you know, you in like um, cubicles and rooms and y'all know you, you probably I ain't saying you can see each other, other, everybody, but you know people coming in and out. But on the streets, almost the same thing, though. Know, especially when you're on the block, you gonna see motherfuckers. You gonna run into motherfuckers every now and then, type shit. So I think you see more more people in jail because like my homeboys. Like if, if I went to jail with my homeboys, I probably see that nigga every day, type shit, because you know he be in jail or he be like. Like, I, I went to jail when one of my homeboys went to jail. And I see a nigga almost every day. So it's like, when you know you're not in jail, you don't see the niggas every day. So I, I guess it's a difference, but at the same time, if you're looking for somebody, you're gonna find somebody at the end of the day, too. You know what I'm saying? So, gonna just, gonna don't, don't like, it's like you sticking a, 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 a fucking stick in, in a pile of bees, nigga, and you getting a honey, and then you think you done, you done, done like three, four times. Or first time, and then you find out these are motherfucking killer bees. And then you fuck, cause they ain't gonna stop until you like die, dead. You know what I'm saying? They, they motherfuckers ain't gonna stop until you dead or unless you go into some water. And still, they'll probably be they probably be around the water for like an hour or two. You ain't never seen some bees like that. You be trying to run for these bees, and these bees are the steady attacking you. They don't give a fuck where you go. You be running a mile. 
They'll follow you. Then you go jump into some water. They'll wait where you done jumped in the water, waiting for your ass to get out the motherfucking water. You know what I'm saying? So, I just be saying, man, this nigga Gunner, man, he done, he done, he done fucked around and, 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 and messed with some, with, some, with some bees and hornets. And now he like, his whole shit is fucked, man. But yeah, real niggas gonna speak on it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas not gonna speak on it because, you know, I was like, man, they, they don't care. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they just trying to get like, and plus, my, my, a lot of people probably don't even see it half the time, you know. So much fucking internet on this fucking, on the internet, so it's like everything's internet. You know what I'm saying? Everything moving fast and you, 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 you dig. So it's like, you gotta get the old and the fast, kind of put it all together type shit. But, like, I don't know if he thought it was worth it, man. The, the bad bitch with the BBL, the builder bitch, the builder bitch, and the motherfucking, um, and, a, and he put a nigga, the nigga had the motherfucking witness mm-hmm. board in the background of a picture. Are you dumb, stupid, or retarded, Gunner? You gotta be a bozo, nigga. nigga. Ain't no damn way you left the, ain't no damn way you left that, you left that, that one, that one, that one, and that one board in the back. Nigga, you crazy. Like, nigga, like, we not going for that. Yeah, the streets are very much alive. No, what's really not kicking it. Is the is the social media platform? They're not telling what it is and what it ain't, but I'm telling what it is and what it ain't. So we out here in the streets and telling what it is and what it ain't. So hey man, say man, make sure like subscribe to the video, man. Uh, I got one thing to say, man. If if don't do the crime, you can't do the time, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're not prepared to take five to six years in jail or prison for what you're doing, or maybe even life. <laughs> You know what I'm mean? saying? I don't think you should even be in the, like you shouldn't even be in a situation or do some shit if like just a, just do it. Like you like just you give it all up and try to snitch on niggas and then you gonna be a federal agent, they probably will move you away and all the time. Like it ain't no point, man. You just do some goofy ass shit that you should never even did in the first place. Like just some, just some, some real talk, man. Like gonna you know some goofy ass shit, man. Like I feel bad for you, low key, man, like they gonna be they, they gonna be on your ass. We gonna be on your ass. Like, it's like you don't fucked up. Like you don't really fucked up, man. Like, and that's how it's gonna be, man. Cause you always gonna find you are, like at, at wherever you travel, you always gonna find a hood wherever you at. So this, that's the that's the thing, man. The streets are very much alive, man. I hope y'all enjoy these videos, man. We out in the hood, and outside, crip gang shit. Hey, Dad, you know what I want. We need to talk about this shit. Be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so pull that everywhere.